Good day, everybody. It's Max, and welcome back to Infraspace, the core. That's right. And in today's episode, we now are going to put together, hopefully, one complete core. So uh, we obviously have done a lot of research over the last couple of episodes. Uh, we should have the ability to build one core without any issue. Uh, then, once we know what kind of the numbers are to make a core work, we should be able to take that and duplicate that pattern across the other cores. So, let's get in there and let's get to it. Alright, we're back in and just where we kind of left off. So, basically, we have basic housing. The only thing they've gotten is, hot, uh, is oxygen and that's it. Yes, we've put other buildings down, specifically the uh, basic farms and all the AOE buildings, uh, stadiums, parks, and schools. But in this case, we have nothing else. Uh, we don't even have the landing pad yet, which means let's have a look at our numbers in the lower left-hand corner. We only have 20 population. That's it. You know, there's, there's no more people here at the moment because we're not allowing them in. There's 637 jobs currently. Now, that is before we actually start adding on the other buildings, things as, such as computers and home appliances. So right now, the city has 637 job requirements. Uh, this would be around the oxygen, most likely. It will be around simple farms, and then of course the AOE buildings. Uh, I'm not quite sure if AOE buildings require uh, jobs anymore. Uh, they did at one time, but I noticed here the icons now don't uh, state any jobs so I'm thinking that it's just the requirements of the simple farms and the oxygen buildings that I have down. We currently have uh, the ability to store 1428. We know we can push a core to about 3600 if we take it to level 6 and about 2900 um, uh, between 29 and 3,000 if we push it to level 5, right? Because really it's going it, it, to, it really is going to come down to whether VR is worth it or not. Uh, so in this case, uh, we are now going to get ready to add the additions. Now the first addition we need to, to add is going to be home appliances. So uh, in this case, here's our appliance factory. Uh, home appliances, pretty straightforward. Uh, of course, it's just uh, circuits and just raw, uh, raw iron. Uh, so, uh, circuit boards and raw iron. Okay, uh, so let's try to get some sort of street maybe pattern worked out here. Uh, I see this is copper. This has iron, iron, iron. There's lots of iron and copper all in here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll do a quick cut here. I'll lay out some sort of pattern, then bring Yuri back, and then we'll lay it all out. Okay, so before I show you the uh, home appliance section, uh, let's get down the actual landing pads so as we can start getting people in here and working. Now, again, I am only allowing them. No, we don't. No, you're not allowed that. Uh, we are not allowing these people to work in any position but oxygen. All right. Uh, which means all these uh, basic habitats will stay as basic habitats, but that's okay. 1400 people in a basic habitat I am perfectly fine with uh, so with that uh, we need to get a landing pad down uh, we're gonna take that away for a minute um, where is the best place to put this landing pad uh, let's uh, hmm, let's stick it on the oh gee all right let's stick it on the side we'll stick it here for now uh, come on you can fit in there there you go. All right, so that's going to start the cars coming in here. Um, you know, uh, the rate is very high. The average is one. The required is zero because we have nobody here again for the second time. Uh, and uh, we're going to start moving some people in. Uh, and, of course, they're immediately going to start hopefully going to these jobs uh, because, you know, we need them to start filling uh, those O2 jobs. Now let me take you over. Uh, to this so uh, no power or anything hooked into this just yet uh, And of course we need some of that population to be moving in here, so I'm not going to worry about uh, Hooking up power or anything. I've got a uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to take care of power here shortly uh, So basically we have two copper miners one iron miner 
uh, which should take care of 20 electronics factories and 20 home appliances. Now it's 32 for two electronics and it's 36 uh, to get uh, two home appliances out of them two electronics. The, uh, the, the iron is uh, 1.6 uh, whereas the copper is 3.2 which means wait a minute um, you know we should have enough iron coming in here for this uh, but I think I need a second iron to handle this. Uh, but uh, we'll we'll see how it goes here in a sec because this is going to be a one to two output and these are only one a piece so it should be the one to two ratio uh, it's all one way road of course that's how we're going to control the flow of things uh, so obviously uh, for these 20 uh, these 20 uh, components here to get the iron uh, the iron is going to have to drive up and around to come into these roads uh, and then of course the finished product will come out of this road and down here. Meanwhile same iron uh, not going there is going to come straight across down into these and uh, that should take care of that. Now with that uh, let's go see we got some people moving in yeah we already got 98 people moved in you betcha uh, so we're going to run a road over here yeah, uh, where are we going to run this road at? Ooh, um, well, I guess we kind of got to run this, well, I, I got to get around all this rock, so first things first. Uh, let's, let's get around all this rock and see if we can't get out of here. Uh, so, um, it's too bad I couldn't do a little bit of a shortcut -y thing, uh, shortcut thing there. Uh, that would have been nice. Um, sure, we can try to do that yeah then come down here like that um, and again I, I'm trying to be a little careful here about how we're going to be using this space currently right um, because we want to be able to take advantage of all this what I call rough rough space for the factories uh, and you know get factories in here so you know like we don't want to be running uh, too much uh, good stuff in here and then losing a potential opportunity uh, to, get, uh, to, to, to get to get more factories in here, right? Uh, so we're just kind of inching along. Now, uh, that actually looks pretty good. We'll, uh, we'll take this as the uh, first entrance of things. Now, again, they're not making anything because I'm not allowing them to make anything. Oh. My, listen, my bad, dude. My bad. Listen, I know you need a road. <laughs> you need a road, dude. I know. Uh, let me get you a road. Uh, get you one road. There you go. You got a road now. All right. Uh, so we're not going to have anybody doing anything over here for the moment. We're going to keep letting the city build up. I'm going to let these people come to work. I need, I'm now at 800 jobs. This will hold 1,400. So that should be more than enough uh, to get this up and running. And uh, so this is just a little bit fast forward. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, we're getting really, uh, we're getting really close to getting to the uh, 821 jobs. So I thought I would take this time while the city is still uh, putting people into it uh, to get ready to switch power components. Uh, nuclear power, you betcha. <laughs> Gotta like nuclear power things. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do, of course, is uh, we're gonna set up one of these miners, right? Uh, because the whole goal here is to uh, do, 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 do. I'm, I'm, what I'm looking for here is I'm looking to see how bad this rock is interfering with our goals, uh, <laughs> with our future goals. Uh, so I guess that's gonna be it there. Uh, so I guess I can get a miner in here. Uh, these take 14 jobs. That's crazy. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Um, that being said, um, we are definitely going to, uh, I'm going to let that fill up there for a second. Uh, we need this road. We need a road, yeah. Take me home to the place uh, where I belong. Uh, yeah, give me the road, uh, dude. Wh why can't I get the road in here? Oh, I can get the road in here. It's just invisible. Cool. <laughs> invisible road. It's perfectly fine. Max. Uh, so let's now go for the super fast road over to this little part of the map uh, because once we get over here 
uh, we're going to switch back to regular everyday road and uh, we're going to put in some power. Yeah, uh, I think these things are pretty big. Uh, I think they're like six squares. Oh, they're even bigger than that. Like, that, this, that's massive. <laughs> okay. Uh, in fact, you know what? Just to be a little safe, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll allow a little space around either side of it. Uh, let's, let, uh, let's get in uh, a little road like this. There we go. Uh, something like that. And, of course, then what we'll do is we'll put the second one. Well, I was going to say I was going to put the second one over here, but I probably won't fit. So I'll have to put the second one over here. Uh, hello, Mr. Rock. How are you? Good. Listen, you're you're really big. All right. So we got to get some power line, of course, to hook this all up. Um, and uh, that's uh, how convenient I have this uh, space running down the back end side uh, to handle that. I know that wasn't quite planned, but I will take it as a plan uh, for sure. Uh, there we go. So hopefully uh, this guy is uh, digging things uh, and delivering stuff down here. Um, and we'll hopefully uh, load into that. Uh, I'm hoping. Uh, how you doing down here, by the way? Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so you're at two. I suppose I need four. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's kind of weird, uh, the different settings they have for the trucks and, and all that stuff. Uh, so in this case, each truck will hold four. So in this case, I have to wait. It, it, it won't deliver until it has four. So in this case, uh, we're letting it go through. I got to make sure that the production level. Yeah, so they're 100%. Um, and uh, it's it's nifty because one miner feeds exactly one nuclear reactor. I mean, that's awesome, I think. And presto. One nuclear power plant. <laughs> it's it's going to run, right? Yeah, there we go. See, it's running 100% efficiency. We like that. Uh, so that is definitely solved uh, our power problems for the foreseeable future as we continue to bring in numbers and uh, the nice part is is that um, you know the the nuclear power plants um, you know take up less room than a whole bunch of solar panels so we can actually use the extra space for even more stuff so let's head on down here to the city uh, just as a quick glance uh, while we're waiting for that and uh, as you can see the city has uh, most uh, all its up buildings have upgraded to twos they all have kind of people in them um, though they're not full uh, you know obviously the ones over here are still at zero right because they're farther away from the from the landing pad uh, so as the uh, city is filling up and making its way across but how far have we gotten there? So we're, I guess we're around these buildings here, uh, I'm assuming. Yeah, I would say we're almost halfway across by the looks of them numbers, uh, which is probably pretty accurate. And uh, so when once we get to around the, eight, uh, the 850 mark, uh, then we're going to turn on, uh, we're going to turn this on over here now that we've got a brand new power supply. Uh, and that will juice this up and hopefully move, move us on to the next level. See you in a sec. Okay, so with uh, with our people getting close to the uh, to the to the line, uh, I've brought up the production overview here for just a quick second. Uh, as you can see, our our requirements at the moment are only thirty one point seven. Yet we have enough stuff down to do four hundred and twenty and three hundred and seventeen. So we obviously don't need all of these people being employed in all of these buildings at the moment because there's just no no purpose in it. So we're gonna cut these guys way back, uh, say about 66% a piece. Uh, that will give us uh, a couple of hundred people uh, to do these jobs, because we need about 200 people uh, to get this fired up. Uh, so with that, uh, we'll swing this into motion. See, we only need 16 people there. Uh, we'll swing this one up for 16 people. Uh, which should be fine. Uh, now we'll swing these in. This is 100 people uh, to get them electronics running. And uh, then, of course, we're going to need the factories running, and they are two are 100 people. So uh, we'll see if uh, anything runs short here momentarily. As you can see, the truck's whipping by there as uh, this, uh, this miner is, is very hard. He's working away. He's, he's, he's definitely working hard uh, to get this all supplied. Now, I could give them a couple extra miners, but really, one, one uh, iron miner and two copper miners sh should provide enough for this setup. Uh, so we're going to find out soon enough 
as uh, I've now ramped up production on that. And then, of course, these guys are going to hopefully start spitting out, uh, you know, the things we want, uh, <laughs> including some home appliances, because then that will force them to upgrade to level three. And, of course, uh, the game always likes it when you're upgrading. It hates stagnation. Um, this is going to change in a, in a future patch uh, where you'll get actually control over this. Uh, but in this case, uh, as you can see, it hates stagnation. It, it's like, well, I have no reason to bring more people in. Uh, so we have to give it a reason. Uh, and so we're going to start shoving a, a bunch of uh, home appliances in here, which will hopefully raise the average habitat level um, uh, higher than the required habitat level. And then, of course, uh, that should start bringing the people back in again. Uh, but hopefully we should start to see our first uh, vehicles uh, coming down here. I had kind of hoped to uh, hope to see uh, at least somebody. Uh, <laughs> Well, I guess I guess different different areas are getting different things. Uh, these guys are getting all the uh, iron first. These guys haven't gotten any of their iron yet. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> hey, I, I'm actually okay with this. Um, you know, I'm all right with these guys getting iron after these guys are kind of set up, because then once these guys start delivering chips, these guys will already be ready to go and start delivering their uh, their home appliances. Uh, so let me bring it back here in just a sec. All right, now we finally have the stuff getting ready to move around. Uh, we should have home appliances pulling out here shortly. Uh, we got two made, two to go. I'm sure somebody's got to have more than two. Nope, I guess <laughs> two it is. Uh, but we should see our first red trucks pulling out here anytime now, uh, which is good because uh, it's always good to see uh, that uh, everything is working out according to plan. Uh, so as these are emptying out, uh, new trucks should come in to fill them up. Uh, and now it's a computer, right? Uh, and I say this all the time. You almost have to plan 10% more than what the numbers say. So the numbers say this one miner should be able to do these 20, uh, these 20 circuit boards and these 20, uh, home appliances. But I will bet you that they will always have one or two short all the time because it's never, it's never instantaneously perfect, right? Uh, you know, traffic simulation and all that hoobie gooby jazz. So, uh, on the, uh, like, after, we'll see how this runs for a bit, but I might put down a mini miner uh, just to kind of fill in the gap, that 10% gap that it's probably going to need. Uh, meanwhile, we have red trucks going to the city. Yeah, taking the super highway. <laughs> yeah, zip zip. Uh, I probably could make that angle a little prettier. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I could actually. Um, do 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 do. Yeah, right about there, I guess. Uh, do that, uh, and then take take that away, cause that's <laughs> you know. Uh, I mean, I have this nice angled road here. Like, don't uh, don't don't mess this up. All right, so here we go. Uh, and then of course they're coming all the way down in here and hopefully finding their way into a house. Hey, look at that. Like that house. Uh, would be nice, right? Uh, 10 out of 12, right? Uh, and, and they're very happy because they're now getting home appliances. And, uh, of course, this is the first AOE building effect that we're also getting to see. So, obviously, our AOE buildings are totally covering uh, their requirements. Uh, so, as we can see here, the AOE building is saying, hey, you know what? I got you. I got you at 100%. You're, you're good. You're good. Uh, so the AOE building, our park, uh, is covering these buildings no problem and, uh, of course, shouldn't, uh, shouldn't have any consequences on that. In fact, this, uh, this should now be bumping up our people wanting to move in. That's right. Pete, the number is climbing very quickly. That's what we want to see. Do you just... You just keep bumping that up there, mister. Uh, so <laughs> we can get people moving in here. Obviously, computers are next on the list. Uh, and we're going to see if uh, if this uh, group of 20... Yes, thank you very much. Hooray! Uh, we're going to see if this group of 20, uh, 20 home appliances can keep one core satisfied meantime. So I'm going to bring it back once I now have the computers built. Uh, and ready to go so as we can hook them into the system uh, and get these guys up to uh, up to their next level which of course will be level four hold on a sec okay so I'm bringing you back uh, because 
we had some upgrading going on, and now that we've got more population moving in, we now have some downgrading going on, and this is about to happen here shortly as well. Um, and the and and the problem is is that uh, obviously the twenty that we have are not enough to fully saturate the city. And in fact, if you, you kind of notice here, um, it looks like it's about two thirds. I would call it um you know uh it's obviously uh we obviously got more than half but i would also say that about uh, about a third of the city is not upgraded uh into level three and just is not going to get the numbers uh because of uh and and, and this line that i I'm, I'm hovering on is the line that you see the continuous icons pop up on they upgrade they downgrade they upgrade they downgrade <laughs> Um, at, right along this line. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a few more. Uh, we're going to add a few more factories out here. Uh, and uh, I'll bring it right back for that. And uh, as you can see, uh, it will actually do us a little good. Because like, remember that 10% I was just mentioning about? Sure enough, you can see here, uh, we're, we're, we're paying a little bit of suffrage price for that. So I'm going to uh, do a little bit here. And then again... Uh, when we come back, we'll see uh, how much of a difference it actually makes. Okay, things seem to be very stable now with our home appliances. And uh, so if we look at all these, you notice these are all upgraded back again now to Tier 3. And uh, for the most part, are holding their own. Now, the other reason we've got this nice little window open is that it's 0.4 minute for home appliances. And it's 0.2 a minute for computers. Now, we know that it's... Uh, that 40 appliances are what are being needed to handle this. Uh, so I'm hoping 20 will be able to handle the computer side of things. Uh, now, computers, they take 80 seconds. Eww. And these take 36. So something tells me I'm going to need a bit more computers. But we're going uh, to start this up anyway. Uh, and uh, I, I have uh, the extra miners. Uh, so here is the iron miners for its circuits and its, uh, its requirements uh, for uh, the microchip factories and all that stuff. Uh, and, and the copper is uh, this second row of copper in here is handling that request uh, and sending all that stuff down. As you can see, it is it is starting to now fill up all the uh, factories here. Uh, these, uh, these chip factories ha have a dual purpose. Uh, one, uh, they have to feed uh, these microchip factories over here, uh, but two, they also have to feed uh, chip factories over here. Uh, so that's a little bit extra. Uh, so we're gonna let this run out for a bit. I, I'm probably short I, I'm probably short on microchip factories. That's why I have this build going this way. Uh, it's probably to add that. And then I'm going to add some extra miners. And I'll probably add a, uh, a few additional uh, copper miners as well. Uh, just to get that to swing up and around. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, because it's a balancing act. Everything's a balancing act, right? Um, and I'm just letting these guys kind of stash up if if that makes sense before I hook them finally onto the roadway uh, so I want everybody to kind of I want these guys all to kind of stash up a little bit then I'm going to hook them to the roadway let them start to empty out and then uh, see what I need balancing in uh, you know do I need more of this do I need I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need more of these uh, which is what I'm going to run right up that little strip right here uh, and uh, of course then we'll get them all hooked in and see how we do Hooray! We have upgrades, and we've reached level four city. Ta-da! You betcha. Uh, <laughs> now, um, yeah. Uh, so obviously, uh, we have level four buildings, uh, which is good. Of course, the parks are doing their job. We were never worried about that part of it. Uh, the only trick was, of course, was that they could get the computers. Now, again, I'm somewhat questionable as to whether or not they're going to be able to keep up uh, as you can see once again if I if I tilt the if I tilt the uh, the core uh, this way you'll notice there's like a, a definitive divide line halfway up right so the top this here half is like still at level three and the bottom half of all upgraded to level four now we'll see if the computers can keep up uh, and of course uh, as uh, again so far so good 
whether that's going to keep oh look at that see look we're looks like we're running short on a bunch of that uh a copper already uh so what i'll do is i'll probably run up here i'll slam down some copper and some other things but we are now at level four uh and of course uh the core uh is looking quite good uh what are we doing on the next episode well next episode obviously we're going to push on with the uh we, we'll call it part two of core uh there's a lot of traffic coming in here holy smokes like really guys do you have to go that one direction to get everything into the city uh yeah this is actually a this is actually a quirky new thing where everybody leaves their house and now actually comes to the park why i don't know uh, but they do uh i'm not sure if i like that or not <laughs> i mean you know um this is a bit of a this is a bit of a, a quirk but uh we're gonna deal with it i guess um man when it comes time for the stadium let me tell you this is gonna get tricky i mean holy smokes <laughs> uh but anyway nevertheless as you can see culture uh, they want culture. They're getting 100%. We got people driving to the stadium to watch their favorite sport games. Finally, uh, I want I do want to say that it is probably more appropriate that they go and watch sports in the stadium than the stadium delivering sports guys to their houses. Because I must admit, that was a little bit quirky. Uh, but next episode, what are we doing? Uh, we are obviously going to push on with level 5 and 6. And, of course, level 5... Uh, requires us to have good meals and home robots. It's a big step. Level 5 is always the big step. Uh, so with that, I'm Max. This is Infraspace, the core, as we are now going to uh, push this up to the rest of the way and then hopefully take that pat this pattern over to our other cores and uh, see how many of these we can get in here. And hopefully it's going to be a fair amount, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.